Well, hello everyone and now welcome to a game. This game going to be between happy and romantic. Romantic spawning under the name No Name on the bottom left hand side of the map of Northern Isle. Meanwhile, happy spawning as the yellow undead on the top right. This is taken from Don't Force Me Cup and Hello Lud Ludora. Ludora. I don't know, why, don't, why do I always roll my R's when I say certain words and I don't on other words? I don't, I don't understand. Anyways, it is going to be a lich first from Happy, interestingly enough, here on the cold, and cold northern isles. Meanwhile, it is going to be an archmage coming in from the south. Archmage, always a strong choice considering, well, if you want any sort of casters, you do need that brilliance. Or if you want to support your heroes, um, mana is always helpful. Obsidian statues, well, apparently take the place of the Archmage um, in the Undead Army, but, well, that's a soapbox for me to stand and talk on when I'm actively playing the game and not just an observer. Coming back around, really, in that Tuskar Trapper quickly gonna get taken down here. Quick Frost Nova as an Acolyte making its way over. Summon up a Ziggurat, most likely. Try and get a Nerubian Tower going as we see a little bit of Skeletal Minion harass or a Skeletal Minion and scouting. Ogre Magi will get taken down. It is going to be a Talisman of Evasion. Not necessarily the best item, as you don't want the the Lich to be taking auto attacks to begin with. So having the, the Lich be taking auto attacks just so that he can dodge it doesn't really make that much sense. Moving down to the South Archmage. Uh, well, both sides going to be going for well uh, what appears to be a fast expansion attempt. But the Lich is already on the move. Is he going to try and scout or stop that Footman? Footman is going to be able to scout out across the map and see what is going on here. Archmage now going after the Ogre Magi as well. That's going to get taken down. Pure up the Vitality, the better item by far, as having higher base hit points means that, well, you are not going to be taking, um, you're not going to be get killed by the Frost Nova and Death Coils nearly as much. There's Death, there's a Frost Nova, no Death Coil, no Death Knight out here on the battlefield. But you can see that the Archmage is able to, well, withstand a little bit more of that damage, already up to 650 hit points. The Lich, however, wants to re-engage, throw down another, as we are going to be looking at a little bit of a surround. All right, this one militia trying to get taken down, it is denied, beautifully done. I believe Happy had attacked first, but the Archmage, well, with shorter traveling distance, ensured to get the kill. Archmage coming back around the other side, even though the two are in yellow hit points. One's at 300 hit points, one's at 400. Uh, what, a... Uh, 33% more hit points for that Archmage there as the Archmage perhaps going to try and buy Boots of Speed. No, picks up a Circlet of Nobility. Is he going to buy Boots of Speed? Or is, well, I guess that's a little bit of an added benefit being right next to all of those units. Um, the Lich would not be able to drop um, a Frost Nova down as it would aggro those creeps. All right, Nerubian Tower already there. Water Elemental now making its way over, trying to get in a bit of a splash. Lich, our Archmage now still trying to chase around back on the other side here as we see the engagement going down. There is no well, there is no expansion down on the south side. Arcane Tower currently getting repaired. Militia coming over to try and help the peasants who are working to keep this tower up. Meanwhile, back on the north here, we're looking at the Haunted Gold Mine is heading steady at 80 hit points. Is it going to fall? It looks like it is, and not a cancellation. It does end up falling, a little bit of lost gold. Meanwhile, down on the south side here, Arcane Tower is about to be done. Archmage says, get out of my house. Not quite sure why he let this go, but it does get chip chipped up on a penguin. One auto attack, another auto attack should finish the job. Yes, level three on the Archmage. Pretty much on the dot there. Level two water elementals now, um, well, a force to be reckoned with. Higher hit points, more piercing damage against these ghouls. As this game is already, well, pl taking a... Um, Taking a quick, quick turn. All right, Archmage could try and focus down that ghoul, but it suspects that there is going to be some damage across here. There's a Water Elemental, low hit point ghoul already trying to back away. More ghouls coming across as well as the Water Elemental, unable to keep up with all of the action. Archmage going to turn back around, gets choked up on a sheep. And well, that sheep really, um, well, why the sheep cross the road to get an Archmage some damage, apparently, as the Archmage now doubles back. Double backs around again. All right, trying to keep both heroes in the map here. Um, trying to keep um, all, all of the well, craziness in order as the Water Elemental, well, unable to protect that peasant there. Lich now up to level 2 Frost Nova. We could be getting some more dark rituals soon. However, without a rod of necromancy, the only way to really do it um, is to... 
well, sacrifice your own ghouls, and those ghouls do cost a good amount of gold. Meanwhile, a couple of militia here, one arcane tower in the very far back, um, where very difficult for it to even be in range of anything as both sides are still engaging once more. All right, the footmen want to engage against those low hit point ghouls. Archmage coming in from the bottom left, um, well, low on hit points, can't really do much there. Are we going to be looking at a tech to tier two by either side? No, we are still at Necropolis, one Nerubian tower there, as the footmen are going after those ghouls, but those ghouls are just going to get rotated, kind of rotating the crops, so to speak, the ghouls only get nat or only get regeneration right now while standing on a blight so and they get really strong regeneration however when on that blight so it does end up working out well haunted gold mine now down to 700 hit points or up to 700 hit points lich trying to engage it looks as though the haunted gold mine is suffering quite a bit of damage here as the water elemental is trying to break free meanwhile down to the south here one arcane tower not gonna be enough to really um, stop much of this attack here as there goes an acolyte there all right haunted gold down to 150, 130, 110. Is it going to end up getting taken down? Is there a scroll of town portal? Yes, there is. Forcing the haunted gold mine to once more be cleared. Is that acolyte gonna, or that footman going to make it? Yes, he does. Archmage now retreats all the way to the bottom here. We're going to see a little bit of damage. Archmage down to 36 hit points, drops a water elemental, and now causing a little bit of a stir there. Both sides still fighting their way through. Archmage down to 22 hit points as the Archmage quickly uses the Scroll of Regeneration for himself and now going to turn around inside. That ghoul is desperately going to come inside this base. If he comes inside that base, that would be a major, major sacrifice there. Militia getting called back over. Lich is hunting to see if there is the Archmage nearby. And the Archmage is just hiding in the back, slowly getting more and more hit points. Meanwhile, back across here, ghouls are going after the water or the peasants here. The water elemental still has a little bit of timed life ready to go, going after these units. Water elemental, the one doing the majority of the damage by far. Meanwhile, back across on the inside here, the Archmage is still hiding and, well, regenerating those hit points. Archmage now going to make a little, perhaps a little bit of a play back out. Lich doubles back around again. As we see the footman now make, well, try to scoot back over. All right, Water Elemental now gone. Forest Troll, I Ice Troll Warlord coming back over. As we're looking at the ghouls clawing up many of these poor ghoul, or poor peasants. All right, Lich, uh, well, actually looking to engage here. Both sides fighting their way through Archmage, exchanging blows with the... Uh, exchanging blows with the lich is that lich gonna end up getting stuck inside though yes he is there's a water elemental holding the door that i guess you can name him holdor right now he's just gonna be standing there this entire time the lich has nowhere to go and is just gonna be holding there he's gonna end up getting taken out but the Archmage does get the experience as I believe he was resurrected at the tavern Archmage resurrected at the tavern now gets up to level four that was going to be the difference. All right. Apparently, all the bodies on the battlefield here, a bunch of dead peasants and a bunch of dead workers, romantic, up to 19 workers here, um, has heavy lumber. We're looking at perhaps masonry upgrade or a lumber harvesting getting collected soon. Off to the north, Necropolis now teching the Tier 2. A little bit of break in the action once all of these, well, excuse me, once all of those um, once the heroes were well taken down temporarily all right six five five creep camp gonna get cleared out lich was resurrected at the tavern just needs a couple of corpses on the ground to use that rod of necromancy regain up a little bit more mana and and recharge that way meanwhile the tuskar sorcerer gonna get taken down there goes one there goes the other a goblin shredder joining in on the fight and now romantic really heavily invested in workers 18 workers um 18 supply of workers adding in that goblin shredder will make it up to 22 um as we should be looking at some guard towers being placed down as well all right little exchange going back and forth low hit point fullman gonna no did he get denied i didn't see the blue question mark as we're looking at uh, well, another the yellow question mark deny there goblin zeppelin picking up units trying to well minimize maximize the life of all these units here a water elemental being dropped down again and we're going to be seeing that low hit point ghoul what are two more shots 
One more shot after this should finish the job. And yeah, that ghoul does get taken out. Meanwhile, the goblin zeppelin still overhead, ready to perhaps elevate some units into the base, perhaps get down some of these ghouls as well. All right, is that going to be the case? No, it looks like the Arch Mage is going to come back around and still will drop in some water elementals and some footmen, causing a little bit of problems. Who is going to get the experience there? Arch Mage, not quite sure. There is a Gauntlet of Ogre Strength plus three. Lich has no room. Arch Mage has no room. I guess could, well, place down a, a Goblin or an or a Observer Ward and then and try and pick up that item a little bit later. Is he going to do it? No, he is not. This Goblin Zeppelin does need a hide off to the side, though. He does not want to end up falling as he does as his brother. Well, Water Elemental ends up giving experience to the Lich. Rod of Necromancy charge used. Pick up Gauntlets of Ogre Strength plus three for 200. No, no, not going to happen. Death Knight may make its way over. <clears throat> and well, Death Knight being the uh, strength based hero gets a little bit of added uh, auto attack damage, too. Now unload all these units do a scroll of regeneration you can see more towers being placed down romantic building towers like it's 2005 in a in a, well human versus undead matchup we are going into workshops so it, and we are already at castle and we're going in the triple workshops wondering why we don't see any knights being trained as of yet perhaps getting animal war training would um, help a little as the archmage already down to 570 hit points takes quite a bit of damage stormbolt onto the lich maybe yes no onto the death knight death knight gonna get surra um, surrounded now and that makes sense since the death knight cannot heal itself but there is a potion of lesser invulnerability archmage drops a water uh, drops a water elemental there's some more attacking going back the other way lich could end up getting surrounded are we gonna see enough damage onto the lich now Archmage holding steady at 290 hit points. Squirrel of Town Portal backing the other way. Death Knight now trying to get away. Is he going to get taken down? No! Footman mid-swing unable to take down that Death Knight. Death Knight gets away at 10 hit points. All right. I, I don't think there was 50 hit points between the Death Knight and that Lich when that Squirrel of Town Portal went through. As the Archmage now looks to clear out this creep camp here, picking up that Book of the Dead, quickly selling it, doesn't want to give delicious mana fodder for the eventual uh, destroyers that are coming around the corner. Now, Paladin has joined in on the fight as well. We should be looking at some Holy Light. Staff of Sanctuaries should also be abound as well. Staff of Sanctuary so important if you're going to be going for these knights. Thank you for training that knight right on cue, Romantic, as denying hip or denying experience is such a large part of the game 65 supply compared to 50 archmage dropping some water elemental is going to go ahead and try and clear out this uh, arachnithid creep camp um, just a bunch of spiders no big deal crystal ball dropped by the pal or for the paladin going to do some quick scans as well trying to see where everyone is we do see a Dark Ranger as that third and final undead hero. Siege engines could roll on up to some of these bases here. We are looking at double slaughterhouse. So meat wagons could really become a big um, counter movement against these siege engines with that fortified armor. All right, Archmage going to go after this Magnetar Reaver creep camp now. Mountain King still sitting at, well, Archmage at four, Mountain King at one, Paladin at one. That's the 411 info for you as the Archmage about to get to level 5. All right, double level up, level 5, level 2, level 1. Archmage should really be backing up here. Doesn't want to be stealing some of the, his experience from his brethren, but then there may also be difficulties in trying to clear out all of, um, all of these creep camps as, as well without the help of the Archmage. All right. 5-2-2 two, two, going up against 5-2-2. Two, two. All right, in comes the ghouls. Only one arcane tower. This base is just absolutely sparse. There goes a Frost Nova. Triple barracks, triple racks, uh, or triple racks, triple um, workshop here. What is going on? We are looking at uh, the exchanging of bases. Siege engines dropping into the backside here. Both sides going to fight their way through. Mountain King does have Thunderclap, and you can see that the well, multiple siege engines are in position. Destroyers do not have the anti-air attack, but are going straight after that haunted gold mine. There goes that goblin zeppelin, and well, how much damage can be done? Repairs are underway massively against this haunted gold mine, as the well siege engines not going to be able to take down this haunted gold mine at all being left behind as these units retreat. All right. 
Mountain King having the Kagar's Pipe of Insight most likely will be selling that for another item um, as we're looking at the Death Knight and the Lich making its way over. All right, Mountain King just trying to sell the item. Was he able to do it? Is he going to pick up something else uh, trying to make his way back over? And well, that was a little bit of a cautionary tale. Holy light right there. Hello, hello. Thank you for tuning in. Always great to see some great to see familiar faces. Um, well, this morning. Ow. A player's forces are Mountain King. Well, looking to just get every bit of experience that it can. Um, gets a little bit more there. Mountain King ready to engage. There is triple barracks, but um, and, a, and a good number of flying machines to try and engage. One one upgrades as well, but uh, without well without the fly machines and. And without easy ways to take down these gargoyles and these destroyers, the knights are simply not going to be able to do very much. Archmage trying to make its way over does have a Staff of Sanctuary, but Staff of Sanctuary is pretty much neutralized when you're fighting at the opponent's base as ghouls or one ghoul is really just doing all the work, taking down all of these um, peasants. Units trying to retreat back here. Fly Machine is going to go ahead and engage back and forth. The destroyers do have mana. That is the reason why the Fly Machines are flying at falling at such a fast rate as the Mountain King gets up to level 3. Stormbolt onto the Lich right there as the Fly Machines are now trying to go after the destroyers again. Scroll of Town Portal, Tactical Retreat. Are any of the destroyers going to end up falling? No, they are not. Staff of Sanctuary for a low hit point Knight save. Castle trying to retrain up some peasants. And, well... Only one Goblin Shredder now collecting lumber. I guess this was all part of Romantic's plan. Allow himself to get harassed, lose a whole bunch of peasants, and then not have to really retrain them. A, a little bit of an odd plan, but I, I guess it works. As we're looking at the Archmage now going after this top left corner creep camp. One wants to clear out this Magnetar Reaver creep camp as quickly as possible, then move its way down south to try and protect the Expo. We can see that the Guard Towers do not have Mason Reupgrade, and without Mason Reupgrade, well, they're not going to be able to really um, handle all of these destroyers here. Death Knight taking some Arcane Tower damage, now switching on to that Dark Ranger. Dark Ranger losing quite a bit of mana as well. Flying Machines are trying to, try to flank in as we're looking at the Wall Scroll of Town Portal. Where is it going to land? Landing right off to the north, right as the destroyers and gargoyles leave all right a lot of workers gone here um only what a handful of workers here on the main base this side now still needing to get to full saturation four out of five workers this goblin goblin shredder has been moved for its own protection relocated back home um, yeah, relocated back home here and well, has plenty of lumber to try and clear out. Critical, Crota's Spectacles of Intelligence, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Paladin just shy of level 3. That's going to be a, a big deal, not having access to that 400 hit point heal. Stormbolt onto the Lich. Lich able to hold it back, um, hold back the damage a little as the Fly Machines are going to try and engage. There we are going back and forth. Fly Machines do not want to go up against the Gargoyles. Wa Water Elementals now are able to fight back here. Fly Machines are just doing some hit and run tactics against all of these units. And once the air units no longer have the movement speed of the Death Knight, well, the Fly Machines actually kind of um, outrun all of these units. We're looking at the Death Knight's Unholy Aura finally giving that back over as the Fly Machines are still trying to chase after all these units. Are going to see any more deaths? One more Gargoyle down. Paladin did get to level 3 in that fight. We are now at 5-3-3 versus 5-3-3. Um, human having two Staff of Sanctuaries to try and save up these Knights and um, knights and fly machines and the staff of sanctuary such a strong strong powerful staff as is as it is useful both in and out of combat um, sometimes you purposely just use that staff of sanctuary out of combat refresh a knight so he's ready when the time comes and also um, well you do it early so that the staff of sanctuary charge is ready for the next battle a player's forces are under attack ruin Tora and plus 12 to intelligence um yes well i think i'm upside i i think i have an overflow of mana i don't know how to cast any spells already so brilliance aura with no spells to use 
All right, coming back around. Knight's taking a little bit of damage. Holy Light trying to save. Mountain King can turn back around. No Orba Fire. This is the big surprise so far. No Orba Fire on the Archmage to try and disrupt some of those heals. There's some, well, Frost Nova damage. Both sides fighting their way through. Fly Machine's going to try and engage against the Destroyer in the back. That Destroyer pretty much getting taken down immediately. Meanwhile, Disease Cloud being brought to the table by Happy. This giant green, um, giant bit of green. And now the Fly Machines have no additional targets. Archmage is in the very far back. Takes a Holy Light going to be able to stay alive here as we're looking at a couple of Obsidian Statues. Mountain King purposely using uh, using a Potion of Invulnerability at, at the right moment. Takes a Holy Light as well. Knights are still engaging. Obsidian Statues are in the back. Mountain King sitting at level 4. Could turn back around. There is, well, um, a Divine Shield now as the units are retreating. 51 supply compared to 62. Death Knight gets up to level 4 off of the Water Elemental. And a whole bunch of low hit point, well, mechanical units are now left behind. Paladin needs to use a Clarity Potion, Potion of Healing, Scroll of Regeneration, try to get around that Disease Cloud. Disease Cloud, um, no, does, it, it does do quite a bit of damage, but not no longer lasting pretty much forever and a day. There's a Storm Bolt onto the Lich. Lich going to be taking quite a bit of damage, losing all of its mana already from that Arcane Tower and one well, one Frost Nova coming back around. The Fly Machines do have Bombardment now, and the Mountain King unable to really Storm Bolt anything because they're just all mechanical units. Mountain King, is he going to be able to, if he gets off a Thunderclap here, that would actually slow down some of these targets enough, um, trying to finish off this one well, Meat Wagon before they all get whisked away. Um, well... Abomination, a perfect target being left behind here. Meanwhile, Flying Machines being forced to retreat back. They were trying to bombard the base off north, but a quick scroll of Town Portal had gotten them back home. All right, bit of a marathon race from both of these sides here. And now the next question will be, as the main gold mines are starting to mine out, will we see a transition into this um, into these third gold mines, these third bases? Or are players just going to try and not take up more territory? More territory on a map means more places you have to try and defend without a big home field advantage. That does become a problem, but um, looking at romantic space here and here, there isn't a lot of home field advantage at either of those locations either. All right, coming back through, Staff of Sanctuary saving one knight. Is another knight going to get staffed? No, it is not. He gets taken down there um, quickly, getting taken out. Mountain King continuing to fight back. There's another Staff of Sanctuary. Level 4 now on the Paladin. Both sides fighting their way across. Devotion Aura coming online here. Abomination showing up. There's a Death Coil and another one. Another knight bites the dust. Big damage. Thunderclap sitting at level 2, slowing down all of these units. And Happy with the transition into um, Abominations may have caught Romantic off guard. All right. Death Coil without Orba Fire really going to have a difficult time. There goes another Knight right there. Death Coil, Frost Nova, a nasty 1-2 combination as the Lich gets up to level 6 and now has access to Death and Decay. Meat Wagons, Obsidian Statues are in the very far back able to hold on to all of this. Romantic has the supply advantage right now, but that may be because a large number of well, uh, units are just resting back at the castle waiting for that Staff of Sanctuary recharge to come to an end. There's another Staff of Sanctuary. There's another Staff of Sanctuary. There is, um, well... Um, of abomination getting cleaned up here. Now, that means that Staff of Sanctuary cooldowns um, are going to be quite a while. This knight doesn't seem to have as much as long to live as we're going to see the Archmage, perhaps Scroll of Town Portal escape. And yes, it is going to be a tactical retreat. These knights are a little bit too far away. Are they going to be able to get over in time? Yes, they are. And, hap and Happy able to also keep alive one abomination um, as well. There you have it. Um, well, one knight, one mountain king hanging back. Archmage most likely will need to get st a staffed as well to try and save. There's a couple more knights there. 62 supply compared to 48 in terms of army. And well, this obsidian statue has a lot of work to do if it wants to try and heal up all of these units. All right. Acolytes being brought over for repairs on the obsidian statues. Meanwhile, coming back around, um, well, still st yep, Staff of Sanctuary on the Archmage, as we expected. New Staff on that Knight as well. Peasants, perhaps they're going to try and rotate. Was that... That sheep was actually... That sheep is still blocking. 
uh, was blocking the knight from being able to leave right there. That sheep having a little bit of a larger collision radius. And there you have it, the southern gold mine now gone as well. All right. Lich, Death Knight, Dark Ranger, 644. Archmage, Mountain King, Paladin, 544. A couple of abominations are in the fight as well, but they do have true sight. They know that those are just illusions, and they're going to go straight after those meat wagons. Meat wagons only have 380 hit points, and, well, get bombarded easily. Both sides fighting their way across here. Obsidian statues are in the back, actually engaging against the flying machines, but that also means that they're not providing support in the front. One knight does get taken out, an abomination getting caught up back there. No flying machines that help show what's really going on. Are we going to go for mass teleport? Yes, we are, as peasants are now doing some long-distance mining. There goes another knight in the backfield here. Both sides are losing units left and right. Death Coil onto the Mountain King, but well, he's able to shake it off pretty much um, with no problem as the Paladin going to come across with the Holy Light onto the Mountain King as well. Another Thunderclap trying to slow things down there. Damage still racking up. There's another Death Coil. Lich gets another Death Coil off. Both sides pushing 59 supply compared to 43. Five machines are still bombarding that back line here mountain king low on mana archmage may have been better to get for level three brilliance aura to give that mountain king a little bit more mana as mass teleport has not been used yet all right lich coming back the other side here is he going to get focused down another uh, abomination down to nine hit points can just get bombarded right here it gets finished off not quite sure what the uh, auto attack was and who got the experience it looked like the lich and um, actually fired backwards there's a dark ritual there's a staff of sanctuary for the save as there's another for the save again 34 supply compared to 57. Romantic is retreating back quickly, and it looks like he will have to return all the way home. All right. Low on a mana. There goes another knight there, as a, a knight may end up getting taken down once more. Yes, we're looking at uh, an ex well, uh, some more black arrows causing more skeletal minions to pop up out on the battlefield, giving the Lich m more targets for that dark ritual these dark minions do have 290 hit points dark ranger not yet le at level five all right 53 supply compared to 34 army size 25 to 50 staff of sanctuary shows two uh, what two knights back at home one ready for the fight again as maybe a third Staff of Sanctuary was necessary. Water Elemental going to go ahead and join in on the fight. There's a Death Coil, Frost Nova, a Divine Shield, and not in time. Paladin going to try and engage. There's a Thunderclap trying to slow things down. There's another Death right there as the Lich continuing to fight back around some more. Archmage in trouble trying to retreat all the way back down to 462 hit points. But, well, with Death Coil, Frost Nova nearby, um, well... Uh, 600 or 800 hit points doesn't seem like that much. Staff of Sanctuary on the Paladin. So the Paladin is now a back across over here. The Knight is right there. Paladin is an absolute sitting duck at this point and could end up getting cl um, cleared. Uh, what well, Lich purposely goes, uh, denies, brings those Acolytes as mana uh, or dark ritual um, targets as the Death Knight now gets up to level 5. Potion of invulnerability there. Lich is trying to fight in the far back. Archmage going to go ahead, drop some water elementals, try to put in some pressure, and it looks like another knight could end up getting taken down. No, it ends up surviving. One obsidian statue is still here, though. Mountain King wants to get in front, perhaps uh, um, get in front of it. Is he going to try and thunderclap it? Um, oh, oh, trying to get around to that one frog. Um, well, why is the... F <laughs> yeah, obsidian statue trying to get cleared up here. Um, some damaged knights. Is it? Are they able to get in some attacks? I believe they are. Um, this one um, obsidian statue going to get taken out. That was a free kill there. As the three heroes are going to look for a fight once more. Mountain King is going to stormbolt. Yes, stormbolts onto the lich. No orb of fire. Really, the the talk of this game and um, allowing the death knight to freely heal over and over one low hit point knight about to get taken down lich able to retreat back dark ranger about to get taken down he falls she falls all right and um, mountain king still sitting at level four though not at level five archmage could be in trouble down to 400 hit points you know drops the pure up to, or uh, he drops the pure up to vitality and uses the potion and picks it back up now back up to 500 hit points as the lich and death knight will have to consider their options too all right water element Elemental dropped there. Death Knight trying to go after. Um, well, are we going to see the Death Coil? Lich, yes. Lich, Death Knight, Frost Nova. 
Death Coil combo finishes off the Archmage at level 6. Uh, still chasing after all of these targets. Mountain King gets up to level 5, but, well, a little bit tired from all the running. Needs to catch back up here as the Fly Machine still continuing to drop bombs. Knight's trying to get into position. There's a Death Coil there. Well, Paladin, or Dark Ranger now resurrected, excuse me, as... We see a Frost Nova on a tightly clustered group of units. This knight needs to retreat all the way back home. There are no units, um, well, no units with Staff of Sanctuary. Stormbolt finds the Death Knight. Death Knight, well, gonna get surrounded. Mountain King is trying to fight its way through. Death Knight now down to 147, down to 101 hit points. Lich gets a Frost Nova off on the Mountain King, who's now down to 153 hit points. Knight's going after the Death Knight. Lich going after the Mountain King to the south. Lich just needs one or two more auto attacks to get the job done. Romantic doesn't have that much gold left as the Fly Machines are trying to clear out the buildings. No resurrection happening back at home. Not enough gold as the Death Knight is still Still trying to run away from all of these knights here, running by the Black Citadel, and that opened up a little bit of cold damage too. All right, Stormbolt onto the Dark Ranger. Dark Ranger ends up getting sniped down here. Mountain King still running around. Lich going to go after the uh, Mountain King. Mountain King doubles back around um, as the Lich is trying to find this Mountain King still, playing the game of hide and seek. Death Knight still going around the shops here. We're going to see a couple of skeletal minions pop up out of the ground here, perhaps try and engage as the Lich is coming across. Vault finds a, a, a quick, quick Dark Ritual target. Death Knight going up against the Knight again. The Lich has mana. Should easily be able to get a Frost Nova Blast. Mountain King still coming back around. Needs to do a surprise Storm Bolt, if anything, as the Lich still has some big damage in store. Knight down to 477 hit points. Or, sorry, 136 hit points for the this Knight here. These Knights, why didn't they break chase? There's a Death Coil onto this Knight down to the south. He, was, he got sh shot down as the well, Black Citadel is now taking quite a bit of damage. Mountain King shows up to the party, does have a potion of invisibility, has, well, a hammer with uh, the Death Knight's name on it. Is it going to go after this target? That is the question there as the Death Knight there's the Stormbolt. A little bit more damage. Still needed a little bit more damage. Knight gets the final shot. No, doesn't. Uh, Mountain King gets taken down. Death Knight gets taken down. And now the Lich is the last hero standing. All right, 8 supply versus 22. This knight perhaps needs to retreat back out. Difficult. Who's going to actually win this fight and win this game? Happy still repairing on this Black Citadel. And the flying machines are trying to finish this off here. All right, what is happening? The knight is going to go after anything else. 16 supply compared to 76. And Happy comes away with the victory. All right, could not explain that game at all in the end just so much running around um peer up the vitality so much health romantic not having an orb of fire really opened up the death knight um to do some large heals level two death coil um when you have an orb of fire um really takes the edge off of that healing ability and and damage starts to stick a bit better as we would have seen, but no orb of fire led um, perhaps um, an option that Romantic could have considered. Let me know what you guys thought about this game in the comments below.